Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome to a brand new game called Rescue HQ. Thanks a lot to Airsoft for providing a copy for me so I can check it out and show you guys. Let's go and uh, see what it looks like. I had a quick look at it, it looks pretty promising. I managed it in a game that focuses on the emergency vehicles and industries, so let's go and check it out. I'll also post a link to the Steam page so you guys can check it out for yourselves and see if it's something you like, if it's something you can afford, and uh, let me know if you decide to buy it. But we have a couple of scenarios available. Uh, let me see. This would be the tutorial. That's San Francisco, Berlin, San Francisco. Okay, so four different scenarios. One is in Germany, one is in the US. So let's go with that first. I guess that's the tutorial mode. Default setting to Berlin map. City grants, initial funding. Yeah, looks good. Start with that and there will be a guy who will be welcoming us. The mayor, I think. <clears throat> Welcome, dear friend. There's the guy. I will personally guide you in building this HQ. Tell me your name. Wait, what? Oh, you can't. Well, tough luck. I dub the cadet. You're a funny guy, aren't you? You will set up firefighting, <laughs> police, and medical departments. You better follow my lead, cadet. First what else off, can I do? let's build up the fire department. Not that I like fire. I mean, it's bright. And if you get close, it's warm and causes delicious, <laughs> terrible pain. The graphics is pretty interesting. It's like a cartoony, very light-hearted vibe. I kind of like it actually. It's not realistic realistic, it's more like cel-shaded comical appeal and it's actually fitting with the, because the emergency vehicles are kind of a very serious matter but because of the artwork they've done they made it into a more light-hearted uh, theme which is just good so you can still enjoy not get stressed out right because normally emergencies would be very stressful. Anyway let's go proceed. Anyways You've got some money, put it to use. Build a fire engine, prepare equipment, and get a hiring desk. You do that, and I'll make sure you have some fire emergencies soon enough. Not sure why we're looking for fire emergencies in particular, but okay. Okay, this just teaches you a bit. So let a few videos in there, that's fine. Since I went through this part at least, I have an idea what to do. So we have the list of objectives in the lower right. It says build an LF-10. I believe that's the model of the fire truck, the basic firefighter vehicle. And you can see that it says uh, build an LF-10 and you can see that under the garage section. So that's this guy. From here, you'll have to plug it in, plop it down in your map and normally you wouldn't have a it's possible you don't have enough space so it lights up the area you can see that yellow glow in that room in the center that means that's where we can plop it down and now it's a matter of rotating it and it, there's the Q and E buttons that's the one so it's facing the door because that makes sense otherwise how would the truck go out from inside right so let's float with that truck there that looks good let's get a fire department hiring station as well so under offices that's the guy <coughs> so this one which one is the front one here okay the one where the PC where the PC is facing is probably the the guy where the employee sits okay so let's put that somewhere here maybe right you also need a an air tank refill station and utility Okay, utility, that's the guy. Air tank refill station, that's the one. What is this for, I wonder? I'm not so sure, don't ask me. Now that seems to per fit perfectly in there. And then the air tank storage. Hmm, let me see, let me see. So air tank storage, we can fit through, okay, it's one slot only. Alright. <clears throat> Can we squeeze that in there somehow? Maybe just here? 
Let's see how that works. <laughs> okay, good. Let's resume. It auto pauses the game, by the way. I'm not sure if that's only for the tutorial or if that really is how it works. By the way, how do you pause? I'm guessing spacebar. Yeah, spacebar works. And then how do you accelerate the time? One, two, and three looks like. Okay, good. And can we change the hotkeys by any chance? Let me see. Settings? Don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. So this is by Still Alive Studios, by the way. The, the same developers from Bus Simulator 18, I think. So it's a very... Uh, I hope I got that right. It's a very varied uh, game uh, genre they have. It's actually very interesting. There we go. So these guys are actually... What are they doing? They are refilling the tanks and they're putting those tanks here in the storage. Makes sense? There we go. We have a truck now. It looks like we have an emergency. Here, you respond to emergencies and make the tough decisions that determine the safety of the city. The best part? This is also how you earn money. Ah, best part indeed. Choose carefully which vehicles, crew, and equipment to send out, as they will be unavailable until this emergency is resolved. Okay, makes sense. Top part, you find the resource requirements. Yeah, this one here on the top. So it says we need four firefighters to uh, successfully dispatch and uh, put out the fires, literally. Bottom half allows you to actually assign the assets and vehicles. Okay, got it. So this is what we need. A cat got stuck in a really high tree. Okay, that's the emergency. Okay, I, I read that just now. Two people are needed. One to climb after it and the other to catch that cat when it descends by itself. Like the ungrateful feline that it is. <laughs> I like that flavor text. So here we can see we have a couple of uh, options in here. Uh, Raymond is a seasoned firefighter. You can see the 2 logo there. Plus 2 to firefighting. And also is an industrial fire specialist. Experience in dealing with industrial area fires. Ah, interesting. Okay, okay. So we can pick that. And if we look at that, it counts as two because this guy is an expert, a seasoned firefighter. But if we pick Juliana, who is a basic firefighter, so that's only one. And so the more people we put in, the higher the chance that we can make a successful mission. And right now it's not allowing us because they have no vehicle, so it's three out of zero space. But if we put a vehicle in, that becomes 0 out of 9. So we can put up to 9 people in here. And we can then add 50%, 75. That's 100% successful. And that's will, that, will be, that will give us 20 reputation. This will take 44 in-game minutes and uh, 50... I don't know how we call the money here. Funds. <laughs> 50 bucks. Uh, 500 bucks rather. Okay, let's so dispatch it. So once we unpause the game, the firefighters we assigned will then go to the truck and go and do their jobs. Hurry up, guys. A national holiday is about to start. There you go. People usually celebrate with tons of fireworks. Expect a lot of fires in urban areas during that time. Yeah. Pretty funky, pretty comical animations, not realistic at all, but kind of lighthearted and I like it. Very different from the usual games that I play, isn't it? Okay, they say a national holiday is about to start. That's that guy there. I'm still trying to understand where we are in the current timing. Next three days. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. That's the next day. That's day two, day three. Okay, got it. And I guess this is the current time right here. That's daytime, that black is nighttime. So this is where we are right now. And the, the things here are moving slowly to the left. So that holiday is fast approaching, basically. I hope that makes sense. Okay, successful emergency. Click to claim rewards. Look at that, a fire department. Now I can start to uh, forward fire issues your way. <laughs> Obviously, keep growing your department. You'll even be able to handle kittens and trees. We just did, bro. We just did. We will definitely need more manpower if we are to thrive. 
We need to recruit more firefighters. New hires are usually rookies. They're nearly useless in the field, unless they have really strong superstition, uh, uh, supervision. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. Having the muscle mass of yogurt, newly hired rookies are basically useless in emergencies. They can get stronger in a basic training area, usually. Gotcha. So we hire somebody, we have to train them first, we cannot deploy them immediately. Unlock new stations and vehicles, ask for help to automatically complete an emergency. Okay, that's like the lifeline. <laughs> like call a friend. Convert it to me. Okay, uh, you may spend reputation to unlock new stations and vehicles. Or you can use reputation to ask for help. Or you can use it to convert to money. Okay. You can only stockpile a limited amount. Cap increases at the end of the week. And uh, reputation gain beyond the cap is automatically converted into money. Sounds good to me. Good. Alright, so what do we do? Next, we build a water hauling training. Alright, so we say go to the training part. And this time, there is no glowing yellow thing. That means we don't have a training room yet. So that means we need to build one. And I'm guessing this is this slot here is intended for that part. Let's do it. That cost us 840 bucks. We'll need a door to put into it so that people will be able to come in but uh, let me show you what happens when you don't put a door it's very blatant you'll know immediately that uh, something is wrong and by the way I just unlocked that water hauling training it's part of the mission anyway so it's easy to it was easy to unlock so let's place that maybe here see Build error. That huge error message shows you that something is wrong. And so we need to put a door here so that people can get to it. There you go. Now the error is gone. Good. So build that up. So we have something. Let's wait for it. Just a little bit more. Now your rookies can train for emergencies. Check the applicants tab in the crew menu. Some rookies are willing to join our little cult. <laughs> our cult. So much fun. Uh huh. Assimilating <laughs> fresh souls, uh, I mean, finding applicants, requires manning recruitment desks. Some may also join after completing objectives. Keep in mind that every crew member needs a locker. What are these guys doing? Carrying water buckets to and from. Ah, okay, okay. Gotcha. What is that? Nobody's working here. Okay, that's fine. Let us keep expanding the common area. And by us, I mean you. Set up a small kitchen and a bathroom where people can eat in peace and use the toilet. Well, respectively. <laughs> okay. Anyway, if they don't have anything to eat, they'll just leave to get food right when you need them. I know, I know. Labor laws, right? Makes sense. All right, so let's pause. Let's build some stuff. Couple of things here. Build the bathroom. We'll need to get an area first though. Where is a nice place to have a bathroom? At the end of the hallway maybe? Let's extend it this way. So if we can add a bathroom, uh, start from here. Maybe extend it like that. Is that large enough? That should be okay, yeah. Yeah, that should be okay. And then let's build a corridor. Extend this corridor right here. Put in a door. Like so. Good. And then let's plug in the uh, toilet. Okay, let's go back to bathroom. Toilet. Could do a couple of stuff here. Let's put that in the end. So we are safer from spot 2.
Is it possible to move stuff? Oh, there. Um, move objects. Yeah. There you go. So we can face that there, and what we can do then is we can add another bed right here. Okay, maybe not. But facing the other way, we can. It looks weird, but it kind of works. And then we can add another seat here. Good. Alright. So now we can unpause that, and everything just builds at the same time. Perfect. Oh, another one. Nice. Okay. A local business is reporting smoke coming out. Oh no, this is the real thing now. Okay, so we need an air tank. Uh, we need an air tank refill station. We do have that. So we need four of those. So we can assign four of them. Nice. But first, let's go and pick the vehicle. LF10. There we go. We have capacity for four. For six, actually, of these air tanks. So we can get four. We have a water tank already, which is part of the truck, and we need four people. I should have three trainees, look at that. What is the green thing? I'm guessing that's some kind of leveling up system. So let's get this guy rusty. There we go. Four firefighters, four air tanks, and one water tank. Nice. Dispatch. Awesome. There we go. Now we have toilets, we have bedrooms, we have a fridge. Everybody happy. And what is this? Okay, night shift is about to begin. Uh huh. Okay, so this one is saying these guys are going out, these guys are, guys are going in. I guess. And this one is saying 7 out of 14 will uh, leave and 5 will go back. I think something like that. Anyway, let's see. But what happens to the guys I deployed? Will they still be deployed? I guess so. Okay. That's good. So maybe they're doing a bit of overtime then. And that sucks, huh? Like a minute before your shift ends, something comes up. <laughs> but then again, if it's an emergency, then it's an emergency. What is that guy doing? Okay, hanging out by the, by the bathroom. So we have uh, 4, 8, 12 lockers. Should be fine. There we go. That's quick. Nice. Successful emergency. Also, the trucks seem to be deteriorating. We can send someone to repair it if there's someone who's idle anyway. There you go. And then we can go and get people applicants no applicants okay fine nice sound effects i like it we can turn things on and off as well is there someone sleeping i hear someone snoring oh yeah there is didn't you guy didn't you just come in for work <laughs> snore snore lax okay there we go uh, Ronda Zhang. Huh. What does this mean? Can I click on that? Oh, uh, I think I. Oh, okay. I hired her for the day shift. So there's an option to hire them for either day shift or the night shift. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go and check what else we can build here. Garage. We have two more options. We can unlock a bigger vehicle. Ooh. Complete fire station expansion. That's free, basically. But we don't have the space. Fine. Or a... Yeah, fire station expansion as well. So you can have different uh, capabilities in there. Water tank, water cannon, foam extinguisher, stuff like that. This one has a ladder. So I, I guess we'll need all of them at some point, right? So might as well extend our garage, get ready for those emergencies. So we can extend the garage that way, maybe. Put in the DLK. Are you guys familiar with these vehicles? I'm not really familiar with emergency vehicles. You guys might know more about that. There's something there. One sec, let's have a look. Oh, we need this one. What's a breach in here? One guy with a breaching gear and three normal firefighters. 
Elevator alarm has been triggered in an office building downtown. Okay, seems uh, trapped inside. Limited quantity of pumpkin spice latte. Oh, how bad for them. You can ask for help using 25 reputation. I think we can do this on our own. Just need to pause a bit. I need some breaching gear. I guess that's something I can do in the utilities. Let's see. Breaching gear, that's the guy. Oh, I need 500 rep for that. But maybe I don't need need it. Let's see. If I just deploy and put in experienced people. Yeah, that looks good. Look at that. 100% dispatch. That's 90%. Chemical specialist. Yeah. Let's deploy everybody. Good. So let's go and create the different trucks as well. So Don this Carlito, guy, in his unending wisdom, has decided to <coughs> rat out his peers. The trial happens at the end of the week. Make sure his old friends don't get too close to him at the trial. What does this mean? One sec. Is this something coming in? Complete the Mafia Boss trial event. What does that mean? A mafia boss is on trial in the city, just asked for armed escort. Be ready with a police van, eight police officers, and some squat SWAT gear. Um, I don't think I'm at that level yet. That's quite interesting. Oh, I only have firefighters for now. Let's get one of these guys with the extendable ladder. We might need that soon. Okay. We'll probably need to extend our hallway as well soon enough. In our room in general. What else do we need? Yeah, the breaching gear we don't have access to yet. What is this? Firefighter lockers. Okay. Yeah, I don't have access to that guy yet. Don Carlitos way. The national holiday is coming soon though. We might need to be very wary of emergencies then. We might need two crews. Okay, sell, clear area, remove wall, add wall, all right, all right, that's clear. Now we do have a resource, boy, that's done, nice, cha-ching. A crew member just uh. left the HQ during their shift. Hey, why? Uh, injury, exhaustion. Okay, so I should. Be... They will keep doing that if you do not provide enough food, rest, and hygiene facilities. I have everything, bro. Other times, though, crew members may become ah, injured or exhausted. One. Emergencies, overtime. This is only treated once they go home after their shifts. Okay, so that's probably what happened. Okay, fine. So maybe we should add things to our kitchen because people are not getting very happy with that. I do have a fridge though, so that should work. There we go, what's that? 8 out of 15. I don't really get that 6 there. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 4, 5, 8. Looks like 8 are coming in. I'm not sure. And maybe six are going out. Maybe that's how you read that. And I'm thinking we should have more people in the night shift because that guy said that during a holiday more fires are possible at night. But we'll see. Okay, we have the new truck available. Nice. We have, what is this? Three people idle so one of you can fix something. That looks good. All right. Anything else I missed here? Training. Oi. One more. What is this? Cat got stuck in a really high tree. Okay. We can do that. We can have a ladder thingy. Look at that. So we can get the DLK. That's the new vehicle that we put in. There we go. And we can put in our new guys, I guess. Yeah. Three folks. What is that? 
Why is that? Because it's too much, maybe? Oh, two people are okay already. Nice. That's very useful. What is the difference of these firefighters with that, those firefighters? I don't know. Okay, but yeah, let's take let's let the newbies take care of that cat. They should have more than enough uh, experience for that. And we have one more idle guy. Okay, let's have a look at the things we can build. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this game so far. It looks very. Uh, I think a lot of things we can do with it. To start. Be ready to respond. Look at that, fire department helicopter. So let me know guys if you are interested in seeing more videos of this. And we will uh, do more. Because I am more than happy to oblige. Financial report. Got it. Too much. Too much. Too many numbers for now. Ooh, nice. Good one. We captured the cat. Looks like. Someone fix that. Okay. That guy is meditating. We have one recruit. Nice. Let's get you on the night shift. I wonder if you have to like analyze the stats or something or just hire everybody. I guess you can just hire everybody for now. I might get an additional water tank though, just to be on the safe side. How are we doing on the money? Yeah, so these guys can fill up the air tanks. Is that the one actually used by the fire guys, the firefighters, the ones on their back? I thought that was water. <laughs> Just shows how ignorant I am about these uh, emergency things. Okay, holiday is coming. We'll probably just finish this holiday and then we'll end the episode. Yeah, anyway, it's running a bit long already. It's a good enough uh, sneak peek on what uh, this game can have. And this is just one part. This is just the firefighter. There's still the police, there's still the uh, ambulances, I guess. So it's kind of interesting how that works, how that all plays together. And the map can grow quite a bit, it looks like. So I'm interested how that looks like. This guy is hungry. Very pleased with... Okay, working conditions, that's good. Emergency! Let's have a look. Oh, we don't have breaching gear again. Fine. Can we deploy something? Surplus, okay. We can deploy that. And then we can go and get four folks or we can get two of these guys in our expert. Yeah, so we have two more people. Like that. Go for it. And that should get us to 200 reps. And uh, after that, looks like we'll unlock the police guys already. Nice. Okay. Holiday is coming. We might have more emergencies. Oh no. Might have done that a bit wrong timing. Okay. But if I have a fridge there. And yeah, because everyone looks hungry. Look, look at those icons. Maybe I need more fridge. I don't know. <gasps> One more emergency. What is this? Oh crap, I don't have that. Some stray fireworks. Okay, if I put you guys in there. 42% crap. And then I have air tanks in here. That's 66%. It's not really doing a lot. I, I wish I didn't use that truck. That would have helped a lot. My goodness. My bad. Can I put these guys in there? They don't really help that much. That's 66%. We can give it a go. Are you a betting guy? Let's, let's be a betting guy. I'm not sure how this works. If it doesn't work like that... 1 hour 30. Oh, fine. It's the best we can manage at this point. Yeah, 
that already adds in the complexity that we're uh, seeing could happen in the game. Have to manage it pretty well. Alright, let's fast forward this one. Is that guy peeing? Are we seeing him pee? I hope not. Everybody here is hungry. It's quite interesting. Right, guys are coming up, coming back. Successful! That's the 60%, I think. The common area is complete. Nice, we got lucky. Don't forget to add on to those spaces as your team grows. Nice. Let's set up a basic precinct so our people can go out and fight crime. I like that. Okay, let's give it a go before we end the episode because I think everyone wants to see how the police station works as well. Okay, let's build the uh, police lockers, utility. Do we need a separate building for it, I wonder? Or can we just, for example, get a garage, unlock the police cruiser, put that guy there? That kind of works, right? But I guess it kind of makes sense to keep them separate. We can buy this one. Purchase additional real estate to expand your HQ. Hmm, I think I want to keep them separate. There you go. Oh man, that's expensive. Do we have enough money still? I hope so. Alright, let's go and do it one by one. We need police lockers. Uh, let's go and start here, at the corner. Okay, let's put the garage here. Maybe something like that. We can put the police car in there for now. Wait. Let's make it face this way for a change. Cannot be reached. Yeah, that's fine. I'll wait, make a way. One sec. Uh, how does this work? We need the main entrance on the corridor. Something like that. Need the main entrance. Like so. And then. Okay, it's really complaining to me now. Fine, one sec. I'll get back to you. Uh huh. We'll need utility locker rooms. Let's put the locker rooms right here.
experimental basis. Unlock that. Paperwork storage. What is that for? Police desk. That's the one. So we need a police desk. Wow, that's big. Shoo. Looks pretty cool though. Let's put it like right here. Super fancy. Put in some paperwork storage. So. And a police hiring station, also office. Can you fit in there? You can, kind of. Not the best though. Not the best use of space. Hmm. Maybe we can extend the office a bit. One sec. Extend it one more slot like so. Move this guy right there. You as well. And the hiring desk can be put in right here. Oh, that one is perfect. Oh, dang it. I thought it was perfect. I have an idea. Move that here. The filing thing. Move the desk here. Does that work? <laughs> it doesn't look very nice. But I guess what we can do is face this here as well. Yeah. Maybe just make the place a bit more. A bit uh, bigger overall. That one. Okay, that works. Granted, the door is not the best location. Uh, okay, let's put it there. Okay, that's more like it. That is more like it. Perfect. Alright, so let's unpause. Everything should be getting built now. There we go. Police emergencies. Produce investigation files. Paperwork and evidence. Process and evolve them using the various stations that can be built in the office. Gain money and reputation for processing investigation files. Ooh, interesting. It's not as simple as killing a fire or something. You have to investigate. It's cool stuff. Right, we have four folks coming in. Nice. Look at that. We have police guys in now. Do we need more... Uh, what is this? File storage. Nice. That's a sure win right there. I love the clicking sounds. Very nice. What does that do? There's like an indicator there. And I guess when that finishes... Ah! So when that circle finishes, we get a new applicant. That makes sense. So that's the same here, I guess. Yeah, okay. I see, I see. Maybe it works as well if we just combine them in one office so instead of having a separate wing. That might be more efficient actually, but this seems more realistic to me, like they have their own departments. Will be less cluttered that way. Oh crap. 
we don't have we don't have this but what we can do is we can wait for these guys to come back because this will be out in 55 minutes this one is finished in 20 yeah let's wait for it for a bit yeah and then dispatch the same guys if they're not too exhausted yeah 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 yeah, yeah. wait for me there we go now they should be back not yet there Let's you go. In. Enforcement is up and running. Now it's time we finish some business. <clears throat> Alas, I talk too much. Uh, prepare the armed police for a mafia boss trial. One sec before we do that. Let's go and assign the folks. These guys. And who is tired? These guys are tired. That's only 92%. Let's get an air tank in. Two, three, four. Perfect. Local business is reporting smoke coming out. Yes, 100%. Amazing. All right, so we have an applicant coming in. If uh, you cannot uh, hire applicants, build more lockers. There's a limit to how many applicants you can hire. Yes, I know. Got it. The amount of built lockers determines how many crew members you can hire for each department. Check the top of your screen to view your current hiring capacities. Uh, I have 12 out of 10? Oh no. Locker space is important for your crew to work properly. Before dispatching, every crew member must walk to and use a locker. Consider this in your station layout. That's quite important, so we need to put the lockers next to the garage. Something like that. Amount of employees versus hiring cap. Build lockers to raise the hiring cap. Okay, I see. I see what you mean. Let's get more firefighters for the night. Let's get more lockers for our police guys. There you go. Alright. Nice. And we have a cop. Nice. Alright, so what do we do here again? We need uh, eight police officers, a police van, and SWAT gear. Dang. Okay, we'll need a bigger utility, looks like. Let me see. Garage. Where's this uh, utility van? That one. Unlock that. That's 18,000. Goodness. Yeah, we'll need a bigger garage for sure. What is this? Successful emergency. Nice. Good job. Good job, guys. Now everyone is hungry. But cool. Alright, I think that's a good enough uh, preview for now. We can ma wait a little more, just wait if there's going to be something that uh, produces. Oh crap, what is that? Two, f two, uh, two alarms. Same stuff, very far away from each other. I wonder if they can do both, like one, do one at a time. So we can do that. And we can hire you 86 percent can focus fully on one or like do a bit of a little bit on both like this one it's not going to be very good though but yeah let's try it Let's try it. Okay, 80% here. And then the other one would be the proper fire truck with proper equipment. There we go, 100%. These guys are tired though, but uh, they'll just have to do for now. Nice. So both are getting deployed at the same time. They have to go to their lockers first though. I think
think we can actually build the door here. Make it faster. There. And maybe here. Shortcut. In case that works. Put also a door here. So our guys from the police force can have an easier access. Yeah. Good. There's another applicant. Uh, police officer, yes. Let's get one for the day shift. Nice. So far, there is no police emergency. Successful for both. Lucky. Okay, we're starting to earn back the money again. Nice. Guy's actually taking a bath there. I think we need more cubicles here. Alright, I'm really enjoying this, but I think we'll have to stop it for now. But yeah, do let me know if you want to see more. And then happily do more stuff like this. Do more episodes. Hygiene crisis. Build more food related stations. Oh, okay, so we need more fridges. Alright, alright. Upcoming shift, yes, good. Uh, oh, first police thingy. Okay, before we end the episode, let's do this and then I'll let you guys go. Sorry, it's taking a while. I'm really enjoying. Very different vibe from the usual stuff I'm playing. Four fridges. That should hopefully get you not hungry anymore. There we go, okay. Uh, what is this? Local running race, some streakers have been reported running alongside the pack. Run pretty good and they're pretty hard to grasp. Being, being naked and all. Oh, okay. Pack a few blankets to catch them. <laughs> Same time cover them. Okay, so let's get a cruiser. And then what we can do... Oh, dang it. That's too small. That cruiser is too small. Hmm... Is it all the same? Yeah, they're all rank 1. 90% is the best we can do. That's fine. It's uh, good enough for now. There's a fire again. Okay, get the fire truck in. Air tanks and uh, let's go and get these uh, newbies. Let's get some experience for these newbies. Good. Time isn't. Oh, did that guy just jump in? Literally jump in the car? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> like diving in a swimming pool. Okay, time's running. Let's proceed. I know, not the best layout, but it's a work in progress, guys. Let's uh, go and get the a garage. Extend this thing all the way so it doesn't look that bad. And then we can get a van, because we'll need that anyway. Put that here. Something like that, maybe? That's the one. Successful emergency, nice. Good job, guys. Our police guys are about to come back as well. What are these guys doing? Oh, they're looking for chairs. Successful as well. Amazing. Earning all the big bucks now. And we have a new applicant. New police officer. Cool stuff. Let's go and move this car. Change the alignment. I think it works better this way. Like so. This one like The holiday so. is almost over. We'll see it through. Nice. Not no, it's not. It's like halfway through. And we have a fire guy. Okay. Nice. Okay. Season crew. Ooh, nice. Amazing. We even level up the passengers. Uh, the not passengers, the employees. Cool. And then the utilities. We can go and get some more like SWAT gear. Where is it? Submersible pump station. I don't know what that means. Cool. No, I don't need that for now. Holding cell, all this stuff. Okay, this is so large. 
this is a pretty intense strategy. Oh, 3 1. <laughs> Wait. Let's put that as the uh, the uh, teaser. Let's stop there, otherwise, I will never be able to stop. But let's end the video here. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. I surely did. Let me know if you like to see more. If you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up, like button, comment, share with your friends, and that's how I know that you guys want to see more, okay? The more likes there are, the more comments there are, then the easier it is for me to understand that it's going to be a thing. Anyway, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and catch you in the next episode. Clumsy rescuing, <laughs> and bye-bye. Have a nice day, guys.